Getting people on camera to see themselves as I see them is, is really rewarding because a lot of the times in villages or communities where I've gone to interview um, people on camera, it can be a little obtrusive in a way and I would never want that to be the case. So I always make sure people are comfortable on camera and the biggest compliment to me is when someone says, I totally forgot that the camera was there when we were talking. Everyone has a story to tell. And I think for me, I want to make stories, I want to make films, I want to make documentaries that highlight the human condition in a positive way and one that resonates with people around the world. For the last three years, I've been working on my first feature-length documentary, The Connected Cup. I have been the filmmaker, film editor, producer, and director, so a complete one-woman band. As an independent filmmaker, it definitely is hard. Um, you really have to have a clear vision in mind and a lot of stubbornness <laughs> because it's not easy and I never really thought about quitting throughout the whole process, but I did have an idea of stopping to maybe postpone until I had enough financial backing and support. And I think that's a big problem with independent filmmakers and documentary filmmaking in particular is there's an incredible amount of stories out there that aren't told because there's not enough financial support. And there's a lot of grants out there, but it's hard. I wrote 28 grants for this film. I heard back from 12 in terms of good or bad. Um, and I got one financial backing. When I was younger, I, I loved to play with cameras. The dark room was my first love. I like to see snapshots um, developed in the film and see them come to life. And I think a documentary and a film is very similar. You get all of this footage and it's like a painter. You have the tools that you need. You've got the paint brushes, the paint, you got this beautiful blank canvas and you just get to see it come to life. And for me, it's a way to use my creativity, to use my knowledge, and also to use my journalism background to create something that hopefully resonates with other people. And um, it's little timestamps in my life too, um, in a selfish way. I love that. I love to look back and say, wow, I, that was, that was a really cool period in my life and I'm so glad that I made this film.